Welcome to the show of biology. I am Roma Malik and I will be teaching you biology of class 11th. The topic for today is structural organization in plants and animals. Under this, today we will be dealing with morphology of flowering plants. In the previous episode of morphology of flowering plants, we discussed regarding the root the regions of root, modifications of root, stem, modification of stem, leaf, venation, types of leaves, phyllotaxy, modification of leaves, inflorescence, flower, parts of a flower, estivation, andracium, gynaceum, placentation. In this episode, we will be discussing regarding the fruit, the seed and the difference between the dicotyledonous seed and the monocotyledonous seed. Also the floral formula and floral diagram. Fruit. The ovary gets matured into a fruit. So, a fruit is a mature or ripened ovary. When a fruit develops without fertilization of the ovary, it is called as parthenocarpic fruit. A fruit generally has three different parts. The outer wall is known as the pericarp. The inner one is known as the endocarp. And in between there is a layer. For example, in mango, the fleshy pulp which we eat is the mesocarp. Seed. Ovules after fertilization develop into seeds. The seed is made up of seed coat and embryo. The embryo develops into the radical and embryonal axis and one or two cotyledons. Let us have a look at the structure of a dicotyledonous seed. The outermost covering is known as the seed coat and this seed coat has two layers the outer one is known as the testa and the inner one is known as the tegmen. A scar helum is found on it which is actually the developing seeds were attached to the fruit at this point. Above helum, a small pore called micropyle is found. Within the seed coat, we find the embryo, the embryonal axis and two cotyledons. At the two ends of the embryonal axis, the radical and plumule are present. The radical gives rise to the root system and the plumule gives rise to the shoot system. Few seeds have endosperm. Endosperm is the food storing tissue. Structure of a monocotyledonous seed. Most of the monocotyledonous seed have endosperm, that is they have the food storing tissues in them. They have an outer covering of endosperm that separates the embryo by a proteinaceous layer called aleuron. The endosperm is small and situated in a group. One large and shield shaped cotyledon known as cutellum and a short axis with a plumule and radical is found. The plumule and radical is enclosed in a sheath and is known as the coleoptile and coleoriza. There are certain semi-technical description of a typical flowering plant, which becomes very convenient for us when we have to explain a flowering plant. The various morphological features are used to describe a flowering plant. The description should be brief, in a simple and scientific language, presented in a proper sequence. It is described basing on habit, vegetative characters, that is the root, stem and leaves, floral characters, 
the inflorescence and flower parts. After description, the floral diagram and floral formula are presented. Floral formula. A flowering plant is described in a definite sequence by using scientific terms. The floral features are represented as floral diagrams and floral formula. The floral formula are represented by some symbols. Bracteate, calyx, corolla, perianth, andracium, gynacium, superior ovary, inferior ovary, male, female, bisexual plant, actinomorphic, zygomorphic. Let us have a look at the floral diagram and floral formula of certain families. Fabaceae, Solanaceae, Liliaceae. Flowering plants exhibit a wide variety. It may be a herb, shrub or a tree. It also varies in size, its mode of nutrition and other morphological differences which distinguishes it from the non-flowering plants. We have studied that a flowering plant is made up of the root system, the shoot system. Though the root system is involved in absorption of water and minerals, beside that it is also responsible for some additional purposes like storage of food, process of respiration in some roots. We have seen that the root is modified for storage of food and other purposes as well. The shoot system bears the leaves, the flowers, the fruits and the seeds. The shoot system also has certain modification. The flower is the reproductive unit or the modified shoot which is also responsible for carrying out the sexual reproduction. The other floral characteristics have also been studied. We can describe a flowering plant with the help of a floral diagram and floral formula. Angiosperms show a wide variety. Flowering plants exhibit wide variety. They may differ in size, shape, structure. Angiospermic plants may be herbs, shrubs or trees. The flowering plants have the root and shoot system which are meant for functions but beside those functions they do some additional functions also. Just as we have seen the roots which are responsible for storage of food, roots which are responsible for respiration as well as mechanical support. Similarly we have seen the stems and the leaves also get modified for various different purposes. It is because of the wide variety that they are also represented scientifically with the help of floral diagram and floral formula. The flowering plants are really amazing. Thank you.